Hello and welcome to Web Learning where knowledge is shared. With today's video I'm starting a new series on how to do things easily with Linux. My first video is to show you how to install WSL, that is Windows Subsystem for Linux, and how to use Linux under Windows without installing virtual machine or anything else. Windows has a short tutorial, but sometimes it's better to see how things are done the right way. First things first, we need to install the Microsoft Windows subsystem for Linux. There is either a command line using PowerShell or you can right click on start, click system. In this window first of all, you need to see that your OS build is greater than 16.215. So this is 18.362, that's not an issue. The second thing that we need to do in the find setting, I search for add features here we can see the turn windows features on or off right here at the bottom you can see windows subsystem for linux and another good thing to turn on is the virtual machine platform those two need to be ticked then you need to click ok and windows will ask you to restart after restarting the windows again click the windows go to the microsoft store search for terminal this is Windows Terminal Preview, there are different ones. This is already installed, but it's downloading again. The second thing you need to install is Ubuntu. There are different types of Ubuntu. I installed the regular Ubuntu and not LTS or anything else. And click Install. After you've done all this, under the Start menu, you'll have two icons. Usually they are here. You can right click and pin them to start for easy access. If I click on Terminal, then you can see that we're getting a tab for Windows PowerShell with a command prompt that we can do dir and any other Windows command. Here we have a small arrow that we can open Ubuntu or Azure or any or command prompt. If we click on Ubuntu, we can see that immediately we enter the C drive of the Windows machine. From here on, this is a pure Linux Ubuntu machine that we need to run as any other Linux machine. The Windows Terminal is better, in my opinion, because you can open multiple instances of Ubuntu and always have them in the same window. I also find out that WSL is really fast. It doesn't have the overhead of virtual machines or any other PC, but I also found out that at least few things are not running under it, especially if you want to run it with a desktop interface that doesn't run and few other compilers can cause some issues. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell to see the next videos I upload on how to do things easier with Linux. Thank you.